So, me being a black Christian, oftentimes I have to deal with other black professing Christians who question the type of Christian leaders that I follow and promote on my channel. And for me, the most frustrating aspect of dealing with these type of people is their total disregard for the focal point of the gospel, which is salvation. In their own little words, they have turned the gospel into a social manhunt for justice that has absolutely nothing to do with the finished work of Jesus Christ. And one of the biggest tools in our arsenal is past sins, justice for what was done to our ancestors. Okay, this whole you owe us mentality. And a true problem arises when professing Christians take hold of this victim ideology and apply it to Christianity. Yesterday I was watching a Vodi sermon. It was a sermon he preached last year at the Light and Salt and Light Conference. And he perfectly explained why this movement has no true stance in Christianity. Let's look at Jeremiah 29. Right? And I know what you're thinking, right? I say Jeremiah 29. You're like, yeah, Jeremiah 29, 11. Nope. <laughs> Not verse 11. <laughs> Not verse 11. We love that though, don't we? I know the plans that I have for you, plans to, you know, prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope in the future. It's like, yes! <laughs> no, I don't want you to look at verse 11. I want you to look at verse four. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. How about that? <laughs> God says the boot of the oppressor is on your neck and I put it there. So much for this woke ideology, this liberation ideology that says that God is always on the side of the oppressed. Nope. Sometimes God is using the oppressor to oppress the oppressed because of sin. There is no always. Amen, somebody. There is no always.